Good blessed it, uh, Wednesday morning, March the 16th, 2022. It's about 1047 a.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, or any other nationality, light-skinned or dark-skinned, old or young. Whether you like me or anything that I say on social internet, whether you give me thumbs up or thumb down, I don't do anything for thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't get credit for that. Everything I do, I do for a reason to make people aware of things that's going on here in Charleston, Missouri, where I live all right now, in other places around the globe that they may not know of. Today, I'm coming to you to show you a clear case, all right now, a clear case of not just racial discrimination, but a clear, clear case of uh, a retaliation, an attempt to intimidate me. Uh, this is coming from the, the executive director of the Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority. And some of the police, I don't know if all of them here in Charleston, Missouri have anything to do with it, but I know Mark Higgins and if his co-worker uh, gave him that letter and anybody else sanctioned him to bring the letter from the housing authority to me on March the 12th, 2022, uh, then they're part of it. You see, I'm going to show you something where the housing authority claimed that his employees, the director claimed, Paul Page, claimed his employees and the tenants in the housing, Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority I am uh, somewhat uh, threatening their safety. And at the same time, I'm uh, denying them to have enjoyment in the projects. In other words, they're afraid of me and I'm disturbing them. But if you look very careful uh, concerning the individual that uh, Paul Page is is uh, referencing this letter that he sent uh, to ban me from the housing projects. Now, I've been here for 26 years. I haven't laid my hands on nobody. I ain't been downtown for gun cases and then being on probation and getting other, other gun cases and still living in the house, housing projects. But I'm gonna show you the white individual uh, that I've been complaining about, and I have records since December of 2021, when he moved from down from the other end, the 700 block of uh, 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 off of Vine Street, to down here close by the 600 block on Oliver. Hey, hey, now Oliver in in uh, Vine Street, where he's causing trouble down there. He set three how uh, three fires was down there. Uh, a truck, a SUV in his house. And when I made a complaint to HUD, I don't see anybody seeing, how right now, seeing that I'm being a threat. Anybody would be a threat is this white family that's living in that apartment who the husband is on five-year probation as of 2020, two years ago, a five-year uh, probation for a gun, and he got another gun case. And then last year, in November the 5th, when their house got caught on fire, <laughs> it was a gun in the house. A felon don't supposed to be around a gun. And if you look at the company that he keep, 99% felons who done either shot or shot at other blacks in the community. You ain't never seen me shooting at no blacks. When blacks attack me, you ain't seen me shoot them. But I'm going to show you something. And I want y'all to stay tuned. And I want y'all to take a close look at, at this letter here that uh that the Charleston Housing Authority Executive Director, you see the location, 
uh, had the uh, Charleston, Missouri Police Department bring me. You see the date that it was dated? It was dated March the 9th, 2022. Uh, but they uh, delivered it to me, hand delivered it to me, the Charleston Police Officer on uh, March the 12th, on a Saturday. I guess he got time and a half for that. Uh, you see what the letter was uh, concerned. What was he concerned about the letter? Uh, a ban and borrowed notice. And just, you know, you've seen it before, but I want you to pay close attention now. Dear Mr. Ivy, your constant state of anger expressed it towards Charleston Housing Authority, CHA employees, and tenants, and your constant uh, trespassing in the tenant's backyard while ranting and raving has caused concern for the safety and peaceful enjoyment of said employees and tenants. Now, that's the reason for this here uh, letter, but I want you to pay close attention to what he said now. Your constant state of anger expressed it towards the housing authority and uh, the CHA employees and the tenants in the Charles, Missouri. Now, Charles, Missouri have a whole bunch of tenants but mine was addressed to one particular family. Mine was addressed to the housing authority people that makes the rules and supposed to enforce the rules for the Charles, Missouri Housing Authority. You see, he said my constant state of anger. You see, do anybody know when uh, Jesus uh, went into the uh, synagogue uh, what was his reasoning for turning over the tables? <laughs> he wasn't happy, was he? He wasn't happy what they continuously to do. So he had to go to another stage. Now, the Bible says it's okay to go be angry, but don't sin in your anger. I didn't sin in my anger. You see, he said my constant state of anger. I've been complaining. This letter, remember, it was it was dated... March the, uh, the 9th. Something else to take note of. I sent a, a second YouTube video to St. Louis, to HUD, after they uh, sent a letter to uh, Paul Page, or uh, uh, sent an email to Paul Page for my first complaint, I believe around the uh, 18th of February. Now, the 18th of February, I've been complaining since 2021. This family moved from over there, I mean, down uh, across from me, after the apartment got caught on fire on November the 5th, 2021. I went to the family a couple of times in the month of December, telling them what the children's and the children's friends was doing. It's all on video, on my security cameras. Nothing done. So I went to the housing authority, uh, foreman he came over numerous times seeing the mess having his workers pick up the mess they was even getting tired but he said my constant state of anger now uh a few days before christmas i showed it to the housing authority foreman he said the wife of the people that live there said that they'll take care of that. But I showed them that they wasn't because I kept going down there doing the right thing. You see what I'm saying? Going to them because I went to the parents. The parents ain't doing nothing. If the parents ain't going to do nothing, the children's going to continue to do what they're doing. But they had them clean it up around the 24th, four days later on Christmas Day. I showed again all of that trash down there. After Christmas, the same thing around the 29th. Then in January, the same thing. Then in February, I just got tired 
and I videoed it and showed the foreman. The foreman told the people again the people wouldn't do anything as far as cleaning up. So the foreman went to the uh, executive director. Executive director didn't do nothing. So when I sent this here to the HUD in St. Louis, which uh, supersedes the executive director here in Charleston, Missouri, Paul Page of the Charles, Missouri Housing Authority, they sent me an email back because I sent it the email so I can be able to have it documented. They sent me the email back and letting me know, I believe it was around the 24th or the 28th of February, that they thanked me for sending them that information and they was going to send it uh, a message to Paul Page. Apparently, uh, after that, they got to cleaning up for a while, but then the mess started again. So on March the 8th, I sent another email to the uh, HUD, letting them see that this thing is still happening. That's on March the 8th. Look what happened on March the 9th. I sent that to St. Louis, but on March the 9th, this letter was apparently uh, incorporated and then delivered to me, not by the Housing Authority, not by HUD, not uh, visa some court order, but by this dictator making his own rules, discriminating, discriminating against black people. How am I a threat? I've been down here 27 years fighting against people like Paul Page, racism, discrimination, trying to bring peace and harmony in our community. But they said, I'm stopping people from having peace. Ain't that something? Now, this flag, my dad was a World War II veteran. May he rest in peace. Fighting against Hitler. Do this flag represent me and my family? I don't think so. It's supposed to represent everybody in the United States. But Paul Page and some of the Charleston, Missouri Police Department and some of the courts and some of the other people in this town show me it don't, it don't fit for all of us. Another thing, me and my two daughters, we just recently received our uh, official NAACP card. I joined the NAACP visa Washington, D.C., the national chapter, me and my daughters, for a reason. A reason that I want to do the people that's NAACP members know this vital NAACP uh, mission statement. The mission statement is, let's get it right, y'all. The mission of the NAACP is to ensure the political, educational, social, and economic equality of rights of all persons and to eliminate racial hatred and racial discrimination. Now, before I even became an NAACP member, that's been uh, since the 15th of uh, February, all of this I've been fighting for anyway. Now, I want to do the people nationwide not only know this statement, but do they follow this particular statement? Because if they did, me and my daughters wouldn't be fighting against this racist uh, housing authority, executive director Paul Page. We wouldn't have to be putting up with this white family that stay on the side of me that have an individual in there that's on five-year paper or probation for a gun, got another gun case, living in the housing authority, that had three fires down the street in the last house they was in on Vine Street in the 700 block. But it don't seem like nobody fighting with me and my daughters, but I don't, I don't, I don't care if they do or not, but anybody that joined, y'all remember what this statement means. I told my daughters, them if they decide to go to the military or college, don't 
uh, join no sorority. You see what I'm saying? Don't join none of these other organizations. We joined the NAACP because we 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 did uh, we 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 plan on making a change. We plan on doing plan on doing what Thorogood Marshall and them did. You see what I'm saying? Thorough and them got uh, Marshall and them wasn't afraid to open their mouth. You see what I'm saying? Martin Luther King said, "What well, there's a injustice anywhere, there's a threat to injustice everywhere. What they doing to me and my family is injustice." But you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to worry about that because I know the steps to take. But you see, now, since I've been banded from the uh, Charleston, Missouri uh, Housing Authority properties, the Lincoln School, C.F. Bowen Center, where my dad went in the 40s and the 50s, and a lot of other blacks went here in Charleston, Missouri, uh, blacks that wasn't allowed to go to the white schools until about 1961 because they had to file a lawsuit. That's the only way you get action here is you got to file lawsuits against this racism. But now I'm an NAACP member and they have the meetings at the same place that the Howland Authority, uh, the city handed the property over to the Howland Authority. The playgrounds in the black neighborhood where me and my daughters and them go play basketball. I can't go play basketball with them anymore because the city didn't hand that over to the white uh, racist dictator, Paul Page, the executive director of the Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority. But all you have to do is just listen and follow and you will see. I'm not the only one complained about, not just Paul Pace, I'm not the only one complained about this white family down here. And I'm not saying it because they're white. I'm saying it because of the fact that they're filthy. Peace be still.